All right, Brandon Simmons here, and I just wanted to walk through a really simple scenario that you can use if you understand creative financing. Now, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're a homeowner, whether you're a flipper or an investor, and you're trying to wrap your head around how creative financing works, basically, you just got to understand basic real estate financing. So I just wanted to walk through a scenario. I live out here in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, I'm looking at a house that say it's at 500,000 worth $500,000. Let's say the people bought it not too long ago and um, they have a, a 3% interest rate on it, right? So they bought it for 500,000. They have a 3% interest rate on it and it's uh, they have a 30 year term on it. So if I go ahead and do the calculation on that, I use this nice little app called Easy Calculator. Uh, so you go to my loan calculator here. I put in the loan amount of $500,000, 3% interest at a 30-year calculation. It does all the calculations for me here. That gives me a monthly payment here of $2,108.02. Okay, so let me go ahead and write that into my little notes here. So that is my $2,108.02. Okay. Now, all I have to do is just do an agreement for sale with, with a wrap on this. So I'm going to wrap that existing loan. Okay, I'm going to do an agreement for sale on that. I'm going to make sure that it's the same loan amount, $500,000. Okay, I'm going to say this is the same term, 30 years as well. Okay, uh, I'm just going to change one thing. Interest rates right now are over 7% in a lot of areas. Um, let's just say we have interest rate at, say, 6%. Okay, we're just going from 3% to 6%. There's loans out there right now that people have at 3%. So we just go take over that existing loan. We wrap it. We do an agreement for sale on it and sell it to another person at 6% interest. Let's go ahead and see what my payment would look like on that. So if I just change this one thing, go 6% on the interest right here. I hit calculate. That gives me $2,997.75 for my payment. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. That's $2,997.75. Now, if I take the difference here between this payment and this payment, that gives me a monthly cash flow of $889.73. Now, what I just did here is now I'm the banker. Okay, I'm no longer a landlord. I'm no longer, you know, involved the property. I just become like Wells Fargo or Chase Bank. I created a new loan. I wrapped that existing loan. I sold it on agreement for sale or in some states land contract or contract for deed, right? And I'm making a monthly cash flow on this of, of almost 900 bucks. So that's a little, a little under $11,000 a year on a property that I don't own. I just created a note, right? I created a note via an agreement for sale sold it on a wrap. And the only thing I did is I changed the interest rate from 3% to 6%. You can go out and do this. There are deals out there right now. You have sellers that maybe don't have enough equity. If you're an investor, a flipper, a wholesaler, that you can turn around and just do a creative strategy like this. If you want the free paperwork on how to do this, just go ahead and go to my website, go brandontheman.com and schedule a free call. I'll give you the paperwork. I'll give you the contracts that you need to do this. It's not that difficult. I'll walk you through that as well. Um, and feel free to call or text me as well. I do answer my own phone. My phone number is 480-818-6460. Now go out there and make it a great day. God bless.